What's up? What's up is why you've been lying to me for 11 years telling me that DJ is my real son. Why you been lying to me? What have you been lying about? I got a DNA test done. A DNA saying what? Saying that he's not my son. Let me see this DNA test. You don't need to see it. I saw it. How you gonna be lying to me for 11 years? Why would you do that to me? Bro, how you gonna believe a DNA test instead of her, man? You gonna believe a DNA test over her? Come on, bro. Why are you gonna do that, man? I have to take her word for it, man. How you gonna do a DNA test, bro? Who wins the lie? The I lie is you. Me. You are the lie. You have been lying to me for 11 years, having me believe that my son that I've been raising for 11 years is not really my son. Like, how could you do that to me? Like, what, what can you say for yourself right now? What makes you get a DNA test? Because I went through your phone. And what? Talking about me, laughing and bragging, telling your friends that I have no idea that he's really not my son. So I want to get a DNA test done. Like, you think I'm stupid or something? Like, how could you do this to me? Wow. This is evil. This is borderline evil. Well, oh, just... Man, no sarcasm here no more, man. This, this, is, this is some serious stuff, man. People get killed for things like this, man. These women are playing with fire, man. 11 years? Bro, wow. You know what? What? You have no business going through my phone and You care more about me going son. through your phone than you lying to me about... Somebody, my son I'm not being mine? Know. Are you I'm kidding me right now? Lie. Are you kidding me right now? You care more about being humiliated and me finding out that, that our son is not really my son and that he has a different father. I sure have because I thought he was my son. Because you've been lying to me this whole time. What are you talking about? Does it matter? It does matter. Are you crazy? What do you mean that absolutely matters? Like you don't see anything wrong with what you did? You don't see anything wrong with what you did? Really You've been bad. lying to me? You've been sitting here lying that? to me for, ele for 11? Of course I love him, but I can't, but you guys can't stay, you can't stay here anymore. What are we going to I don't know. It's not my problem. 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 You can't stay here. It's your problem. <laughs> Do you know why it's your problem? If you've signed that birth certificate, it's your problem. <laughs> you have no idea what you got yourself into. I think it's, was it Nashville? Somewhere. They've made it legal now. A DNA test has to be mandatory now in that state. It's mandatory now. I think it's Tennessee somewhere. It's mandatory. Which it should be. It should be mandatory because lives are being ruined. There's no repercussions for these women. These women are not getting any form of repercussions when they ruin people's lives like this, the child's life's been ruined, the man's life's been ruined. And when these ladies go now and make false sexual accusations about someone for REP in them, the man's life gets ruined. And even if he's found out later that nothing like that happened, that he's innocent, there's no, no retracting of the statements. Once it's out there, it's out there. You know, bad news travels around the block 10 times before the truth gets out of bed in the morning. So your career is ruined. Your life is pretty much ruined. And the woman, there's no repercussions for the woman. When you start holding these women accountable for their actions, things like this are going to reduce and damn near stop. You just ruined two people's lives right now. 11 years? What? You can't say it. You can't say it. You can, I don't know. It's not my problem. I did my job. I did my job. I did my job as a dad. I did my job as a dad. You can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Both y'all can't stay here anymore. No, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Y'all can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get y'all out. Y'all gotta go. I can't deal with it. I'm, I'm putting y'all out. Yes. I'm gonna put you out. I, I'm gonna put you out. I'm gonna. I will pack your bags myself and put you out of here. I will pack your ass. Y'all can't man. stay here. We you got gotta go. You got. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me for eleven years. And you lied for eleven years straight. You lied, you lied to me, having me believe that he's my son. Now. No, we you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta get up out of here. You gotta get up out of here. No, I can't look at you. I can't look at. No, y'all gotta go. This happens way more than you think, especially to good guys. Guys that are upstanding citizens. Now work hard, 
you're just a mark to these women, man. These low level women that want to hang out with the with the the Ray Rays and the Tyrones, the hood drug dealers slanging in the corner. They get pregnant for the low lives, and then they look for a nice God fearing guy to stick the baby onto. It happens a lot. DNA test has to be mandatory. Whether he doesn't matter if you guys trust each other, it doesn't matter if she sees it as an insult, you asking for it. But you have to ask for it. You have to protect yourself at all times. You have to protect yourself at all times. Like that uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather fight where the guy was trying to talk to him in the middle of the boxing ring and it just went touche, 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 knocked the guy out. And everyone was saying, oh, it's a controversial win. And Mayweather said, yo, the rules of the game, protect yourself at all times. <laughs> That's the rule of life, man. Protect yourself at all times because at the end of the day, there's no sympathy for men in this society at all. No sympathy for men. How many times have you seen this divorce uh, uh, court videos where they find out DNA tests that this child is not the man's and you've been lying to this man for decades and everyone goes to the woman. The woman starts crying <laughs> like, like she didn't know. And then everyone's like, oh, it's, it's okay. It's just so point sympathy out for the woman and the man is over there in the corner just hurting just crying in silence just dying inside Be, being damaged men are walking around in society now damaged damaged of course we can't come around and start pouring our heart out and start talking about emotions and talking about how we feel and all that stuff because we just program different but we are damaged seriously Especially with situations like this. If you've signed that birth certificate, you're tied to it till he's 18. You keep paying that child support or whatever. Because you've signed to take that debt, to nurture that debt all the way through to maturity. So we're all dead slaves. You know, slavery is not around anymore, but they found a way to make everyone dead slaves. That's what your social security number is. So when the government starts taking care of the woman and the baby and you don't pay the child support, you get arrested, put in jail to walk off that debt. Be careful before you sign that birth certificate. Make sure. Make sure. Do that DNA test. <laughs> oh, I can't stress this enough. Make sure. Doesn't matter if you met her as a as a V, if she's a V or whatever, and you're her first. Still do that DNA test, man. Whether whether she's a nun, do that DNA test <laughs> before you sign it, or you're just gonna be taking up another man's debt. <laughs> he who have ears, let them hear, man. Let them hear, but still, people wouldn't hear. A lot of men get led by their Johnson. They don't use their big head. They use a little head down there. Get screwed over and over again. Still doing the same thing. They don't listen. <laughs>